Guys, and welcome to the Corrections Workshop. We're here in Ann Arbor at the Ann Arbor Miniature Show. So let me go ahead and get some footage and let you see what I saw, and I'll show you what I got when I get home. This house. I just got it on Wednesday, so I got I'm really liking that little banjo in there. So all of these things can be found at the Lilliput shop in Mason, Michigan. I actually purchased a tiny boat from her. Very nice, very detailed. And she also sells this very unique item. It's actually a wall decoration that looks like a dollhouse. It looks just like a dollhouse and all the detail, the windows and everything. And all of the styles are like the San Francisco style Victorians. So they're very beautiful, very interesting to look at. So it was really fun at her table. So you get two, two uh, holidays for the price of one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> popcorn I had a really great time at this vendor's table. She has really lovely pieces and really great prices. I actually even bought a couple dolls from her table that I will be repairing during the doll series on the channel. I truly can't explain how much fun I'm having right now. <laughs> now this is the Golden Acorn Shop. She always has a lot of very interesting things. She actually has leather shoes, she's got food, all kinds of really unusual pieces that I don't see everywhere. She does actually even have a lot of food items, including a really great selection of packaged food items that can be purchased individually. I bought quite a few things from her. I consider her one of my favorites. Oh wow. Yeah. Are you all selling that? Yeah. Oh, it's already sold. sold. Wow. It's already sold. Yeah. It's ready to go. It is moving ready. Fantastic. Yeah. It's a beautiful piece of real estate there. Love she gonna open that other part so you can see inside the other part. That's beautiful. 
Okay, I'm gonna go around to look at these vases. I'll be back. Okay, thank you. When she was a little girl, I used to come to your shop to get little knickknacks here and there when I could afford it to all oh my aristocrats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's where my first dollhouse came from. Okay. Uh -huh. My dad bought it in 77. But I always loved your shop. You know. One look. Yeah, I know. I know. Wow, it's so, so this is nostalgic. Um, it, it's nice yeah. to hear that, that my customers are still doing it. Yeah, oh yeah. It's like very much I, so. like I never realized it would go yeah. this far. So. No dolls, this vendor was Pat's Miniatures. It used to be on Outer Drive in Dearborn. Later in the video, you'll see that I purchased a beautiful bed from her, some wallpaper, and some floor tile paper. So this was a really great stop. So this is, um, well, that would be one. I was looking at how right. much is that? Right. That's impossible. Yeah. Oh, you know, for two seconds. Yeah. The hard oh, part, most time is, you know, putting the plant in and shaping it. And then to get all these little flowers on it, spray glue. Spray glue. Spray glue. It's like, it's real sticky. It's like rubber cement. Do you know what rubber cement is? Oh, it's not a material you guys use anymore. <laughs> 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 So now I've had a wonderful time at the Ann Arbor Miniature Show on my own way home to open all my little treasures. And I'm going to show you guys everything I got. So I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye, dolls. Got a special shout out today for Amy because I met her at the Miniature Show this weekend. Had some great conversation, met her and her husband. I appreciate you, Amy. Thank you so much for acknowledging me. So dolls, here I am back at home with all my wonderful treasures that I found today. But I wanna start this off with a gift I received. My sister and my daughter were in cahoots with one of the vendors I had been shopping with, and I had her hold a couple items for me and they bought them for me and surprised me. I'm really tickled about these items because I had already shopped probably more than I should have. These turned out to feel like a bonus because they were things that I had just decided I wasn't gonna get. So I'm just trying to show you different angles so you can see the detail on these lovely pieces. It's really nice. It's even upholstered in the same fabric as two more chairs that I have in my original dollhouse. The difference is the chairs in the original dollhouse don't have arms on them. Now this little desk is absolutely lovely. The drawer actually opened. It's just a beautiful writing desk and I thought it was a really great price when I saw it, I just had been purchasing so many other things. I didn't think I would have enough to be able to get those two. So it's really, really sweet that I ended up getting them anyway. Now this is the Rogue Bee Studio. I got a really lovely cabinet from them. Beautiful, beautiful, fantastic merchandise piece. So let me show you dolls what I got. I really love it when I find pieces like this that are rare and really unusual, highly detailed and then they're a good price. Look at this doll. This is absolutely beautiful. It's in excellent condition. I just love the finishing on that glass. 
yeah this is a beautiful beautiful piece very rare i've never seen one like it if you have dolls let me know but i really feel like this was a great find great find looks very realistic very detailed she had some really beautiful items and her prices were excellent this piece was only 20 dollars, so there was no way i could pass a piece like this up for that price i truly found so many wonderful pieces today but i must admit this is one of my favorite now this item i got from the golden acorn shop it's a needle tool now you dolls know i use needle tool in a lot of my doll making but she had them with the wooden handles and she wrapped up the tip because it's really pointed. And then I also got a lot of other accessories that I'm going to need for Aunt Janie and Aunt Bess's house. They need coffee and flour and raisins and all the type of things that my grandmothers and aunts always had at their house, baking soda. And then the infamous pet milk and oatmeal and several other pantry staples. So these are just what I consider iconic things that you always find at great aunts and grandmother's houses. <laughs> now dolls, this bag was free. They usually have what they call a free table. And I found a lovely bag of herringbone taupe colored fabric, which will be perfect for making men's pants, slacks, vest, anything to outfit my men dolls. So to find something like that and get it for free is absolutely wonderful. Now, along those same lines, I found a table that was selling bolts of fabric. And these are vintage bolts of fabric, but the prints were really beautiful, very fine print, very fine uh, cottons. I found a cream. I found a navy blue. Again, these are really great for making um, doll clothes, curtains, bedspreads, things like that. So I was really, really tickled about finding these items. Now dolls, at this moment, I am having a total childhood flashback moment. I found these two miniature rocking chair salt and pepper shakers and the thing about them that make them so nostalgic my grandmother my dad's mother had two chairs exactly like this on her kitchen shelf for years and when she passed my grandfather gave them to me and the really crazy part is i have these two chairs in the original dollhouse i painted them and they are in the children's room right now so to get another set of these chairs is wonderful she also had some brown paper bags for 50 cents, so I couldn't leave that. <laughs> this is a wonderful vendor, and I can't find her card. This vendor always has wonderful prices, and this is the same table my daughter and my sister got my uh, Mother's Day items from. But she had this wonderful little baby carriage. Now, you dolls know if you've been following me anytime, I do have a baby carriage, but it's kind of small. But this one actually is a good size, and I thought it was made very well. But the funniest part about this baby carriage, the baby was included. I thought that was so funny. The tag literally said, carriage with baby included. <laughs> I always have room for a spare baby. <laughs> At the very same vendor last year, I found a little brown baby, and today I found another Heidi Ott doll. Now this, this is the same doll maker that made Saudi. Now this little doll, she was really pretty, but she has a few challenges. So I think I'm going to include her in my doll series and fix her up and stabilize her because her head's a little wobbly and her legs are a little wobbly. So I'm going to show you how to fix up a doll like this that you find at a bargain. She's really pretty and I can give her a better life. I stopped at another table called Pat's Miniatures. I used to go to her shop when it was open in Dearborn on Outer Drive. I ended up finding some really great pieces at her table. I actually got this beautiful, beautiful pattern striped wallpaper, and it's going to work really, really well in the dress shop bedroom. I think this is really, really pretty. I also found some really, really nice flooring here at this same vendor. This is absolutely beautiful. And I really love the pattern. It's very vintage and it's got a beautiful border around it as well. So I'm really excited about including this in one of my new projects. Now, another thing I found at Pat's table was this beautiful bed kit. 
It was absolutely beautiful. Look at that headboard. Look at the carving, how beautiful the wood is. I thought this was a really great deal. I also found these cute little needlepoint throw pillows. I'm already thinking about dressing the bed. So I'm going to set it aside. I'm not going to pull it all apart, but I really just wanted you all to see this beautiful headboard. And it's got a lovely footboard under there as well. So this will definitely be a fun video, putting this together and dressing this bed. So let me go ahead and move on and show you what else I found. So these lovely things I found at the name table. Yes, the National Association of Miniature Enthusiasts, which is the organization that published the Miniature Gazette. I found this lovely picture, this beautiful chair. The chair is missing an arm, but the arm was included in the purchase. So I'm going to fix it and reupholster that. Here's a lovely shawl. And look at this doll's a vintage hat box. I love the design. I love how they added the little ribbon with the rosettes on the side. And it's actually made of wood out of some really, really thin wood. So I thought that was beautiful. Kind of had a vintage look to it. And it was a little mirror. And I definitely can frame that and use that in the Roman house. And these were two little runners that will definitely come in handy in one of my newer houses. Now, this was a little harp. The harp has a few challenges. Looks like it needs to be restrung, but that's not going to be a problem, dolls. I love to fix miniatures, but I thought the wood was beautiful. I thought it would be absolutely wonderful in the music room of the Roaming House. And I did find a fan. I think I'll use that at Aunt Bess and Aunt Janie's house because it might get warm in there with them doing all that sewing so i think this was a beautiful piece look dolls salt and pepper shaker <laughs> now this little item i found at the lilliput shop i met a lovely lady by the name of barbara and i bought this little ship from her i thought it was really nice i think a ship like that would look like a fun project for grandpa and the boys it will keep them from fighting over that bike all the time <laughs> and then before I left, I won the raffle at the registration table. It's a little tiny suede vest. Really well made. It's actually got fringe on it. It is beautifully made. Very, very, very delicate, thin leather. So I'm going to use it on one of the dolls. So I'm really excited about the wonderful things that I found at the, at the Ann Arbor Miniature Show today. And just being able to share with you what a wonderful experience it was. I hope you dolls get to go to a miniature show this year. Definitely check in your area. You can actually Google miniatureshows.com. Now this Ann Arbor show is put on by T&D Miniatures. They do shows all over the country, but there are several different groups doing miniature so shows. So definitely check in your area to see what's available. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.